Well, good morning, everyone. Here's a video that I shot yesterday with the DJI Mavic Pro. And we had a cold front that was coming in. And, you know, from my previous videos, I like the look of clouds. So I thought that I would shoot in normal mode and also in vivid mode, just to give you a little example of the two. And here I am lifting off. I'm going to raise up to 398 feet. And once again, like I said, this is a normal mode. So the clouds are nice. The sky has got that baby blue look to it. But once you look down, you can see the contrast is... It's not just an overexposure that they've done with the normal mode, but it's also they've gone a little bit heavy on the contrast. So I'm going to do a little pan around just so you can see some of the clouds and then the cold front coming through, which is a big relief because this morning it's in the 50s. Uh, yesterday was in the upper 90s. I think it was 98 degrees was our official temp with uh, the heat index of 102. So this cold front's gonna be nice. It's only gonna be 72 degrees today on Tuesday. But just doing a nice little pan around and then shortly I'm gonna change to vivid just so you can see the difference between the normal mode in vivid now keep in mind i've got everything else on auto auto white balance so you know this is the way that i normally shoot with the dji mavic i can do some little tweaks in post uh, if you look in the far left distance there you can see downtown fort worth so here we come up now it's starting to get a little bit cloudy because of the dark clouds and we did have some rain overnight and now we're in vivid mode so Vivid's got a nice feel to it, a nice touch to it, but it's also very contrasty on the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and continue just panning around. And by the way, later on in the video, uh, right towards the end, I'm gonna do another shot with my daughter just to show the overexposure between normal and Vivid. It's, it's really dramatic. So, it was very overcast when I shot this, but it wasn't dark outside. I shot this approximately five o'clock in the afternoon. Sundown is around 7.30 here. You can see Vivid, Vivid reminds me a lot of what normal looked like without so much contrast in it. But also Vivid, it highlights a little bit of oranges yeah, or the, uh, the orange spectrum just a little bit, I guess just to warm up the image. And you can see that in the top of the clouds there. Oh, by the way, I had a viewer ask me if I'd heard back from uh, DJI and I have not. It has been right at two weeks. I was told that I would hear something back from DJI within 48 hours. So last night I tried to log into DJI to talk to one of their online assistants to find out the status and what's going on. And DJI is down. So uh, regarding their online support and I checked, here I go back to normal again. Uh, and I checked a couple of days ago, and it was the same thing. So I don't know if they're revamping their uh, website regarding their online support, or they've taken it down for the meantime, because I don't know, maybe people are starting to flood them with what's going on with this overexposure. And I see in normal mode here, it's not real bad. It's not when I start to tilt up, you see the overexposure the top of the screen it is so hazy looking you would swear that it was fog but there was absolutely no fog now you go to vivid mode it's a little bit better but the overexposure is still there and it's only when you start to tilt up a little bit more boom now all of a sudden the clouds are in and I, I don't know if it's a metering thing that they need to work on on how the lens meters for white balance if it's just a spot or if it is center or if they can do a multi-point now here i am about to land the craft still in vivid mode 
you can see it's still very bright. Now back to normal mode. Here's my daughter, face completely washed out. You can see it's so overexposed. And now back to vivid and vivid. Now she's not overexposed. And this is on a cloudy day. So just imagine what it's like on a sunny day. So please, DJI, if you could address this, I'm sure a lot of us would appreciate it. And by the way, one little final note that I just wanted to add. You know, this may be something that DJI will be able to implement. And DJI, if you're listening, like your online assistant had said that you guys are watching this channel on what I'm putting up regarding the DJI Mavic and the overexposure issue, can you simply revert back to the camera profiles from before the dot 1000? If you can do that and then add a normal enhanced, so you'll have normal mode and then normal enhanced, which will be this supposed enhanced image. If that's something that you could implement, I think that it would quiet a lot of the DJI Mavic owners down. Um, but anyway, that's just my two cents. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to share it. And also, if you have a question, comment below because I respond to all comments. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe today and click on the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video.